Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to learn Power BI using ChatGPT. The scope of this video is to design a one page report based on viewers demand. I will create more episode in the future. Let me switch to the computer for that demo. Here you can see the spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. This is order data and you can see the column region, country, customer, business segment, category, model, color, sales date, list price, unit price, and order quantity. Based on this data, I will create a report in Power BI. To create a report, basically I will take a help from chat GPT. So I will ask a set of question to chat GPT. So first question will be, what is the first thing to do to start learning Power BI? So let me ask to chat GPT. If you do not know how to use a chat GPT, please watch my video and you will find the link in the description box. So let me click. So it is generating the response. So understand the basics. So we will cover in this session the basic explore Power BI desktop. and learn data modeling. Practice with sample data. Create visualization we are going to do. DAX, we will use a very basic DAX expression. So the so many steps. So now let me explore the first Power BI desktop. So we need a Power BI desktop. So let me ask another questions. So how do I install Power BI desktop? So let me copy the question from here and paste it here. So this is the link. Let me click on the link. And from here, you can download a Power BI desktop. So start free. And here, download for free. Power BI desktop, download for free. So, and here you will find all the, sorry. Here you will find all the step how to install. Okay. Now, as the Power BI desktop is already installed on my computer, so I will, I'm not going to install. So let me ask another question. How to get data in Power BI desktop from Excel sheet? So we have to take our data in Power BI from Excel sheet. So this is the step and let me ask this question to chat GPT. So once you will install a Power BI desktop, you have to launch the Power BI desktop first thing and click a get data button from home tab of the Power BI desktop icon. And there is a so many step. I will not go to each steps. So this is the basic step. So I have already launched a Power BI. So it's saying the from home tab get data. And you, if you click on the get data, you will see the option Excel workbook. Click on the Excel workbook, and this is my data sheet, which I just now showed you. So I will click on the data and click open. So it will take a few minutes to load the data. and select this option and click on load. So now it is a loading our data. So it will take a few minutes or few seconds. So now 
data is loaded and you can see the data data your data from data view. OK, now let me go back to report view. What is my next question? Next question is how to add a title to a Power BI report page. So let me copy. And let me test here Power BI desktop. Use. Yes. Top. Yes. Top report page. So let me click here. And we'll see it is giving you the step how to add. So these are now uh, we have already opened up a launch of our beer desktop. So it's saying that in the home tab, you will see in the visualization part, you will see the text box. So just click on the text box. So if you will not understand sometime or you have to just click on the regenerate. So your response will be regenerated. So let me I have added a text. Let me delete and show you again. So from the home tab and here is the text box. So and I will say. Order. Oblique. Sales report. And from here you can change the font. So let me change the font. Arial black and you can increase the size. OK. Now from here you can drag. And here from here minimize the size and here you can see. Center alignment. So I align this title. Center alignment. Yeah. Now next question will be. How to change the background of text box visual? So. This is a text box visual, so let me ask the questions. So is this select the text box visual? And in the journal drop down. In the background option you we can change. So select this one. And in journal. There is a. Effects and in the back. Drop down you can choose any color based on your choice. So now. My title for the report is ready. Now let me ask another question. How to add visual to report page in Power BI desktop? Visual means your chart, line chart, bar chart, pie chart. So let me ask this. You have to carefully read out because it is not possible for me to read out each line because it will take us so much time. So it is saying everything. So from visualization panel, you have to add the like, you know, column chart, table, map, card, anything. And it, it is also showing that how you can change the color axis and everything. So here is my visualization panel and I will add a one column chart here. Let me increase the size. OK, now my column chart is added. Now what is my next question? How to populate a column chart? from the column order quantity and country in Power BI desktop. What is this order quantity? So this is order quantity column. And the next column is country column. So here you can see the country column. So what I want basically sum of order quantity by country. So let me copy this. And paste it in. Here in. Chat GPT. Let me ask that. Let me see the response. So some steps are repeating, so you can ignore. 
So it's saying that like, you know, in visualization panel you add and all this and in the field panel you have to use this order quantity and country. So let me go here. Now this is in the this what is what it said in the field panel. This is my field panel and in the field panel from my data source, I will add a country on X axis. And on Y axis, I will add order quantity. So here you can see my sum of order quantity by country is ready. Now let me check another question. How to add a column in Power BI desktop and calculate sales amount equal to order quantity multiplied by unit price? So let me copy this question. And I will modify a little bit here. So I will say how to add column in how to add a column using tax in Power BI desktop and calculate sales amount. I want to calculate sales amount and the unit price multiply by order quantity. If you can see here, the unit price multiply by order quantity. So actually we are covering a very simple DAS, DAX also here. So let me ask the question. So here. So here you can see it is saying that like you know in data view in the field panel in the desktop window. And right click on the order table. Right click on that order table and add a new column. So what I'm going to do, I will right click on the order table column and here I will say I, I will see the option new column. Let me add a new column. And from here I will copy this code control copy and I will just paste here. So let me increase the size. So here it requires a single quote. So that chat GPT miss. Round table. So order is table name and this is the column name. So let me hit the enter button. And my column is sales amount is added. If you will go in the data view, you can see that sales amount column. Now let me ask another questions. So how to add a donor chart in Power BI and show the sales amount by region? So I will ask this question again. Sorry, I will ask. So let me read out next question. How to add a donor chart in Power BI and show the sales amount by region? So let me copy the question from here and I will paste it in chat GPT. And we'll see the response. Some question steps are repeating, but you read out as a you are the beginner. So it is again in the window donut chart. So here what I'm going to do, I will go to the visualization pan and here I will search for the donut chart. So this is my donut chart and I will just click on the donut chart and now it is added on report page. So what it's saying? In the legend, I have to add a country. OK, and in the value section, just now I've created a sales amount column, so I will add here. Value. So now my donut chart is ready. 
sum of sales amount by country. Now let me check my last question. How to add a table in Power BI desktop and show the sales amount by business segment? So let me copy this text and paste here. And we'll wait for the response. So again, in visualization pan panel, right side, desktop window, select the table visual, drag the all relevant columns which you want. Okay. And it is saying how you will aggregate that. OK, let me show you that one also. So let me first add a table here. And I will add a business segment. You can add more column as well. So like let me select a model as well. And here I will select a sales amount. OK, so it is talking about the aggregate. By default, it is here. You can see some. If you want average, you can select the average. Now it will show you the average. For example, let me select one more type. Sales amount. This is the average. This is the sum of cells. So you just right click here in, in the field and you can aggregate whatever like you know sum, average, min, max, count, a standard deviation, variance, anything. So let me adjust the size. So my single page report is ready. That's all for this video. And I will paste all the questions in the description bo box. So you can copy paste from there. And thank you for watching. Request you to please subscribe my channel. Please comment and like.